welcome back to the channel. My name is Heather. I am one half of Pine Holler Limited. We are a husband-wife duo. You will never see my husband on any videos. Um, he likes to refer to himself as our silent partner or my silent partner in eBay, <laughs> but he is um, the media guy. He has a specific category in our eBay store called Mixed Media Shop. So he is the media guru. He does everything there is to do with media. So today's video is a haul. Yesterday I went thrifting um, into a neighboring county. Um, when you're a reseller, you gotta do that. You kind of tap out your regular haunts. So you gotta branch out a little bit. I went to um, the auction first, which is usually what I do on Saturday mornings. There is an online auction um, here in my town, and it is owned by Red Dirt Resale, who is here on YouTube. And I will link him in the description box below. Really cool channel. He um, takes you along as he purchases um, storage units. So a lot of the things that we purchase on the online auction help us stock our eBay store. This week, I only got a few things. Um, I got an over-the-counter, over-the-toilet shelf for a buck. I needed that personally for our bathroom, so that's already put away. Um, I also got a couple things here that I'll show you, and then um, a pair of hunter, bo hunter boots. They're not in the greatest shape, but um, they will probably go to my sister because she's been looking for a pair and told me to be on the lookout for them. And I got some organization tools. I try and thrift as much as I can as far as organization goes because I'm just that kind of person. I like to thrift. So if I can use it, then that's what we do. So the first things we're going to go through in this haul, which will possibly... Um, have to be a two-part video um, or I'll figure out how to scoop them together uh, like I said in our intro video I don't edit so if I say something that isn't appropriate I'm sorry in advance but it is what it is um, so as well as the online auction uh, Red Dirt Resale heads up he has a brick-and-mortar store called DLB Resale or DLB Thrift Market. Yeah, it's in Dallas, Georgia. If you haven't ever been or um, if you're in the area visiting, whatever, go check it out. Um, on the weekends, he has a dig aisle. He has several dig aisles. So it's a tiered pricing set up during the week. And then on Saturdays, um, it's kind of like the clear out. So everything is a quarter. Um, I have found some pretty good stuff in the dig aisle. I found a nine inch franciscan starburst salad plate just one plate on the dig aisle for 25 cents and i flipped it for 49.95 on ebay so there are treasures to be had um i got two things off of the dig aisle and they were a quarter a piece so the first thing is a constantine dvd um, this title sells for us every time we have a copy of it um, in fact i don't have any right now so when I see um, this DVD or Blu-ray, I grab it because it sells. Um, it doesn't sell for a whole lot, but it is a popular title. And while we are pretty stock, we have a backlog right now of media that um, my husband is um, polishing. And so um, we're not buying a whole lot of media, but I have, you know, some things on my recall list in my mind that I know have sold and I know we're out of. So that's why I pick up some media. Um, I also got this Dracula um, paperback book. Um, Dracula by Bram Stoker. But it's the case studies in contemporary criticism. So it doesn't go for a whole lot. But it's in excellent, excellent condition. So I will put this on eBay for about five bucks. Alright, on to one of the thrift stores that um, we hit yesterday. I got the Pulp Fiction soundtrack. Um, the 90s movies and 90s music movie soundtracks do sell for us. So this was $0.99. Cents. Um, average cost of goods yesterday, 
turns out to be four dollars and thirteen cents so um, the way I come up with that is I totaled everything that I got to resell um, and I subtracted the items that we got for um, personal so my total spend yesterday was two forty seven ninety seven I got sixty items and that brings my average cost of goods to four thirteen so while this was only ninety nine cents because I've averaged everything together I get the four thirteen um, now this might only go for four dollars which is fine because I have other items that are going to go for much much more so that's why we do um, the cost of goods method so 99 cents for this CD and then we got a copy of Smokey and the Bandit we don't have this one so in our personal collection so this might stay with me because I love this movie um, but yeah so this um, price on it was 191 I'm not going to keep repeating but my cost of goods for this haul is four dollars and thirteen cents all right um, this is uh, for me personally, this is a willow tree figurine. This is an ornament, and it's called the Angel of Remembrance. This is probably one of the only things that I collect. Um, no, I won't say that. That that would make me a big liar. <laughs> um, I collect a lot of things, but this is um, one of the things that I collect that I only purchase if I find it thrifting. I don't pay full price for these. So the willow tree ornament um, will go on my winter tiered tray. I do tiered tray decorate. All right, so next we have a new with tags Vera Bradley um, crossbody and it's the mini hipster in pinwheel pink. Thankfully they left the little pattern um, tag inside so it was new with tags um, I don't have a problem selling Vera Bradley. It doesn't go for a whole lot, so when you get it really cheap, I am okay with um, a little bit of a profit. Uh, this does have some marks on the front, kind of like um, dirt, like it rubbed it on the floor or something, like it was dropped. So I will hit it with a couple of uh, wipes or some of my various products I do have over there on our cart um, that I'll, it's a crash cart for resellers so one day I'll do a tour of that um, but yeah we got this Vera bag and then I also got this one um, I'm not sure of the I have the draft in eBay already with the pattern name um, but this one is the same mini crossbody but it came with a little coin purse so um, Again, I, I sell Vera Brad Bradley all day long. Um, the newer patterns, and the not the newer patterns, but the newer bags, some of them don't even have this quilted traditional pattern anymore. Um, my own personal bag doesn't have the quilted pattern. It's just black. But those can go for more money. These, a couple dollars, which is fine. Um, grabbed this Independent Trucks um, Youth hat I had not seen this brand um, out in the wild yet so I grabbed it even though it was a youth hat and I don't see it on eBay anywhere to do a comp um, it has been worn but it's in really good shape um, so we'll put it on eBay all right and I do like to grab these kind of hats these are the just distressed um, hats that you can pretty much get at any gift shop but I like putting them up just as a store filler for a couple dollars so this one says hike more worry less um, I definitely need to hit it with the um, lint roller but otherwise I mean just it's already distressed so it does have some probably where somebody make, wore some makeup so I will um, clean that up a bit um, the brand is 4350 district so I'm not sure of the brand but again really cute hat we'll put that on eBay this one is crazy dog lady it has a little paw print there and this one is actually um, it still has a tag on it for 18 bucks from whatever boutique it came from but it's Kathy K Bethos vintage so I have a couple of hats by this brand in our store 
and I own a hat just like this, but it's camo. So there's that. So that's everything um, on the table. Now, the next three things I did pay up for, um, and I only paid up for them because the thrift store I went to was running a sale this week, and it was $1.49 for all clothing in the store. And it is a pet rescue um, nonprofit thrift store called Mostly Mutt's Market, and it's in Ackworth, Georgia. I'm in Georgia if I didn't say that. Um, so I got this signed artwork and it says it's a fine line ink print hand colored the beetle um, from 1968 but the artist did this in 2003 and his name is Roger Clark what I can find on him so far is that he is in Queensland and he is a museum artist, actually, so I'm not sure of the value of this. I paid $19.99. Again, with the average cost of goods, though, it brought it down to $4.13. So, um, really good score, and this is most likely, until we decide to sell it, going to go in our eBay area for the media section. Um, just as something to look at until we get tired of it. So, we have that, and then this super excited to find I found Wayne's World signed and printed or signed and dated by the artist um, this artist's name is J Matt Welker and he spells it M-A-T-T -T. oh you know what maybe his name is Matthew Elker e either way He's an Instagram pop artist, and while I did pay $19.99 for these each, um, he also sells them. I don't know um, if the, well, these were done in 2017, so his current stuff is selling for $19.99 on his Etsy. Um, again, we will keep these, though, for the media area, but it was neat to find um, artist prints kind of, you know, to our theme. So those will go in mixed media shop as decor until we decide we don't want them anymore. All right, um, moving along, we have two bags. I do like to sell bags. Um, this one is handmade from what I can tell. It, there's a company on Etsy called SoFly, and I don't know if this was a commissioned bag. I could not find anything like it on their Etsy page, so I'm not sure if um, this is something that they create all the time and, like, have stock of, but it's very good quality. I definitely got it because of the um, Western print that's very popular right now. It kind of gives me Beth Dutton vibes. Um, from Yellowstone, so that's something that I keep my eye out on. It's um, pretty popular right now, so it's super clean. Um, couldn't find a very good comp for it, but uh, pretty clean inside, and we will put it up in the eBay store and see how she does. It's very lightweight, too, to, to have such buttery leather. It's very lightweight. Um, so yeah, I think this will be good in the eBay store. I'm very happy to have that added. All right, and then at Goodwill, we went to a really, really good Goodwill. This is What Would Dolly Do tote. And this is by the brand Draper James. And that's the logo for Draper James. Draper James is the brand um, by Reese Witherspoon. So I did a quick comp. Some of these are, you know, none sold. I will say that. None sold, but they are listed for between $60 and $75. I will um, go a little bit under that and hopefully move that along. It does have some smuts, smuts right here. So we'll hit that with some 
spot treatment and see if it'll come up. All right. Clothes. When you have a deal like I did for a buck forty nine, you you gotta I mean you gotta stock your store, right? So that is what we did. Uh, I found this Free People Beach at Goodwill, and it is just an orange asymmetrical beach cover up with raw hem size medium. If you haven't seen the Free People Beach tag, which I'm sure if you're a reseller you have, um, this is again my first time finding Free People Beach, so I was happy to find that for eBay. You'll see a theme here. I gravitate very heavily to um, Western Navajo prints, um, boho prints, and floral prints. Um, I'm trying not to make so many purchases that are just based on whether I like them or not. Uh, but a lot of times in my area, I don't find some of the great big bolos that other people find. So I do have to rely on factor stacking, which is a term that um, Kaylee Elaine uses. A lot of our business uh, model I have based on her business model. So I take a few things from several different resellers that we love. Um, Kaylee Elaine is one of them. Ginger Marvin is another one. Um, so while I do watch their videos and I do um, my business similar, I don't do everything down to a T and try to emulate them at all because, again, like I said earlier, what works for them might not work for you. So I take little bits and pieces and I highly encourage you to do that also. Um, take little bits and pieces from everybody and then create your business around that. Um, so with that said, this is not a great brand. Um, this is Shein Curve. Fast fashion. But I saved this dress um, because it is floral, kind of a midi length. It is missing its side tie. Um, but it's in brand new condition. There are no spots, no tears, nothing. Um, and I saved it from the landfill because people pass, resellers especially, pass on Shein. So this was definitely a style-based pickup. It has um, some contrasting trim around the cuff. Um, I just thought it was cute. It's lightweight, so I think this would uh, be cute for a wedding guest dress or a festival even with some uh, high boots, tall boots. So yeah, I think that dress is really cute and we saved it from its untimely demise. This, I always um, look at the Talbots. Um, I don't have a problem selling Talbots, Ann Taylor, uh, Ralph Lauren, career wear dresses. Lots of people have gone back to work, so they need clothes. Um, again, it is another dress. It's sleeveless. It is 99% cotton. Um, just a shift dress, I think this is what that's called. But if not, you guys can correct me in the comments. Um, it has a zipper. This is Talbot's with the three dots. So that may be the outlet. And it's a size 10. But again, I thought it was really pretty with the navy print um, and the floral stripe. So very on trend right now. I like selling dresses. I don't mind selling them at all. Um, so I'll always pick up those brands. This is Athleta. Um, I don't peruse the um, active wear aisles probably like I should. Um, it just doesn't do anything for me. But a lot of times when I find um, in the dress area, I will find a lot of um, athletic wear dresses. So this is a size extra large. It's just basic black. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a newer label or not, but it is the black label. Um, long sleeve. It does have the thumb holes right here. 
so that is a keyword that you would use and then it's just a asymmetrical hem um, casual activewear dress and their material is usually pretty good it is 97% modal 3% spandex so it has some stretch to it very lightweight very comfortable um, athleisure brand so we do pick that up when we find it um, I have a thrift store that I like to go to um, it's a dollar for clothes and I do find some athleta there that I'll grab so I keep my cost of goods really cheap there Another brand I like to pick up is Lucky Brand. This is a size large. Um, this is just a black, very basic pullover. Very lightweight. It's almost sheer, even. Um, the fabric content on this is... I can't remember where I saw the fabric content. This is viscose and poly and elastane. So this is a good transitional piece. You could still wear this into early spring. And we do purchase um, all seasons, all seasons, because just because it's 140 degrees here in Georgia does not mean that it's the same everywhere else. So I'm going to cut the video right here. Hopefully you won't see that I have paused the video so we can start over on the second part of this haul. All right, the next piece we are going to get is my husband's favorite brand, it's Chico's. And um, when he sources for clothes, he zeroes in and he gets just about every Chico's we can get. Um, Chico's sells really good for us. This is a different one though. This is Chico's Zenergy size three. This is newer label and you will know that because on the newer label Chico's, they actually have um, the US size. So this is a three, that is the vanity sizing, but a three translates to um, US size 16, 18. And this is a space dyed, kind of marled pullover, lightweight. Um, it has some ribbing here, V-neck. So another athleisure shirt top and this is a black tag so <laughs> it's got some rayon and some polyester and spandex but I thought because it was new new tag that I wouldn't have any problem moving that for those of us that work at home this is the kind of thing that I work at home in so Next, we have a Life is Good t-shirt. I usually always pick up Life is Good. It's just a, um, it doesn't sell for a whole lot, but it's a consistent seller. So this is a 3X um, Life is Good Crusher tee. It is long sleeve, and it does have a date on it, which might affect my ability to sell it quickly. Um, but it's Peace on Earth 2022 with a little log cabin print. And then this is new. Um, I hadn't seen this before, but this little tag on the bottom says, do what you love, love what you do. So still a good shirt to um, layer if you're out camping on the cold mornings. Wouldn't matter what the graphic necessarily says. All right. Now, one thing you're going to see on this channel is probably my favorite brand to source. Um, I have a couple of customers in particular who have um, come to me repeatedly and purchased and let me know what they're looking for in this brand and what their size is in this brand. So I'm constantly searching for this brand no matter what. Um, it is a mature brand, QVC, and it's Susan Graber. So this, I do believe I have sold this before. This is a ribbed tunic. And again, a space dye red color. Um, this is a size extra large. She has several different tags. And I actually have different tags in our haul today that I'll show you. So Susan Graver, um, her most notable fabric content is called Liquid Knit. And when you're listing, you always want to add that as your keyword, Liquid Knit. Um, people are looking for that. So this is 
does have the QVC mark inside. And it is polyester rayon viscose spandex. So this is not liquid knit, obviously, but um, again, I buy just about anything in Susan Graver, no matter the size, which someone else might come along and say, oh, you should not do that. You should only buy the plus size, which is the case in a lot of brands, but Susan Graver is my bread and butter, so I will get it no matter what, and it's easy to find in my area, so you have to capitalize on what you can find easily to flip quickly. This is another Susan Graver. This is the Susan Graver model, Modern Essentials size large and this is the liquid knit you can kind of see it's kind of flouncy um i'm not the laundry queen so my mother explained to me that this type of material content will not um shrink and that's a good thing so this is a basic ivory tunic size large um, with Susan Graver, she makes a lot of pieces that can coordinate. So this is a basic, but with some of her other things, you, a jacket or an open front cardigan, you can layer with it. Um, and that's one of the other things that I like about Susan Graver clothes is um, I've sold a liquid knit top in one color and then a printed open cardigan in another color, and they purchased that as a bundle made a little outfit and it was out the door so we love susan graver here all right this is soft surroundings which is another brand that i love to pick up this is size large this is the newer tag of soft surroundings i think yeah this is the newer tag it lays more flat than the other one does but this is a very large it's like a turtleneck but it's floppy um, asymmetrical hem, long sleeve, um, Soft Surroundings is another brand that, um, is just a consistent seller for me, no matter the size. This tag has seen better days, but it is viscose and spandex, so, um, this, again, this flouncy kind of fabric, uh, this is a heavy piece because of the neck, but it's got the flounce and the comfort factors so people love soft surroundings here's another lucky brand this is a size medium um i don't i get a lot of lucky brands i don't really care about the size because this is an easy 15 bucks for very minimal uh, buy-in cost um, i've sold this particular style many times over in different sizes, different prints, and it does have a particular name, but um, it has the two, two tassels there in the front. So we'll always get the Lucky Brand. Another Susan Graver piece. This is an older tag, so it has the SG over to the side. This is a size extra large, really pretty top. So you could get this, um, floral number with the sequins and then put a open front cardigan on top in black and there you have a semi formal or semi dressy um, outfit. She does make pants. Uh, I've sold several pants in the liquid knit. People love those and she also sells dresses. I have not been lucky enough to find any dresses yet. All right another soft surroundings piece this is size medium, and this is just a mint green longer tunic with some cute little details there on the sleeve. Um, again, we don't size discriminate here, so uh, I have extra small to size 30 in our store currently. So. No discrimination. Here's another Susan Graver Modern Essentials size large. I love this color. I'm very drawn to this color. This rust pumpkin kind of fall color. Um, yeah. So, and with Susan Graver, I can get, I usually get 25 or better 
depending on the print, um, depending on the fabric content. If, if it's the liquid knit, I can get a little bit more. All right, next is Torrid. This is new with tags, but it is the collab with Outlander, which is kind of a dark academia look. And this is just a sweatshirt, very, very lightweight pullover, rather. Um, ivory with some graphic print there, and then it has a crisscross in the back. This um, retailed for no price. There's no price on it. It's a size four. Um, yeah, I only saw one other listed on eBay. So, uh, I do like picking up Torrid. It doesn't sell quickly, but I do pick it up if I can get it cheap enough. All right, another brand that um, I am very selective in is Lularo. Now, personally, I wear Lularo leggings a lot um, because I work at home and it's just comfortable. But if I'm buying it, I'm only buying the long maxi length dresses, the long maxi length dusters, or the Disney villains, the Disney branded prints. So this is a t-shirt. Uh, I like to stick to the plus sizes also. This is a 2XL. Their things run small, in my opinion. But this is Cruella de Vil, and I couldn't pass up a good old Cruella. I'm not at all a Disney fan. At all. Alright, probably the, the best thing that I grabbed, and my first time finding this brand at a little mom and pop thrift store. Um, this is the brand Hatch, which is a maternity brand. These are a size 4. Um, and they are just these little ivory colored um pants they are they do have some linen in them very high end i looked up the comps on these and they are like 188 bucks brand new um made in usa they're 80 percent tinsel 20 percent linen so really good fabric content um very uh, minimalist in my opinion as far as um their website, like, I don't know, it was very classy, very minimalist, um, very uh, easy, kind of effortless um, vibe that I got. So those will probably resell for 60 bucks. I'm thinking they're in really good shape. There's no pull in the fabric, no stain. Um, so yeah, they're really good. Another thing that I, another brand I've never found in the wild is, as far as jeans are free people jeans. These are a size 30 regular. Um, they are skinny jeans though. So I grabbed them, skinny jeans, raw hem. Hopefully they will still sell. There is some puckering around the distress here on the knees, but otherwise in good condition. There's some puckering in the crotch, but you know, when you're getting, these were a dollar without the average cost of goods being considered. So um, still for four bucks, I can probably double my money and somebody will be happy to have those. So once you find a jeans brand that you love, I feel like people don't always stray from that. All right, another brand that I always pick up if it's linen is Tahari, 100% linen. This is a size 2X. So this is just a basic um, high-low t-shirt in this really pretty royal blue color um, so I'll have no problem getting 18 bucks for that this was a huge fail <laughs> my first time finding Ariat women's jeans in the thrift this is um, high-rise slim trouser they do have a wide leg. I can't tell if these have been hemmed. I'm not 100% certain that they haven't been hemmed, but I can't tell. If you can, let me know. <coughs> and that's the hem up close. But the flaw here, these are a size 30 long. And I was excited because of the brand, but I also saw that they were button fly. However... They're missing the buttons, so they have two 
of the four buttons. So these will be in my eBay store um, and they'll be very, very cheap because I'm not sure if maybe with a longer tunic somebody could wear it, but I don't know that those buttons would be easy to replace, especially with that particular branding on it. So um, this was a flop in my book, but it was it was honestly the only flop flop today. Like this might not be a huge bolo um, haul, but I got some pretty decent um, things here. So another pair of jeans. This is Lucky Brand Levla boot. Again, the only reason I got them was because they are boot cut. These look to be in really good condition. So. Just measure those up and put them on the old eBay. All right, this shirt is an exact dupe for a Calvin Klein shirt that I sell consistently. So um, the Calvin Klein one I have in, listed right now is a um, like a dusty rose color. This is the brand J for Justify, size 3X, but it is literally an exact dupe for the Calvin Klein shirt that I sell. Um, it has roll tab sleeves, the zipper on both pockets, the buttons. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, wow, that looks familiar. And then I saw the brand, I was like, wait, usually that's Calvin Klein, but yeah. So we'll sell that. No problem. This was, that was one of the dollar shirts at that mostly mutts market. This is a linen and cotton blend tank by Liz Claiborne, size large, um, fabric content based pickup here, this linen blend is selling well, so I get pretty much anything. Alright, this is Weekends by Chico, size 3 again, so a large, very very lightweight, but it has some bling to it, so I thought we would try it, yeah, so two different subsets of Chico's and just so we can say we said the fabric content cotton and modal so really good fabric um, really soft I wish there was a way you could feel some of these things <laughs> that's kind of what I do sometimes in the thrift store overlooking at each and every tag I'll kind of just feel around especially that's how I find a lot of Susan Graver with the knits all right, this is a Chaser t-shirt, size large, with a sugar skull. So, yeah, nothing much to say about that. This I thought was cool, Coldwater Creek, older label, I believe, but it is 100% cotton, and I thought it was just funky, like... It's a jacket. It's a very lightweight jacket, but look at the print. Like, it's just super cute. So, I know somebody will rock that. Kind of, uh, kind of boho. I would wear that. Thought it was cute. Alright, this is an open cardigan by Sage. And I just got it because of the colorway. It's a waterfall front. It's paisley. I like to keep a lot of the open front, open front cardigans in my eBay store. And I haven't sourced a lot lately, so that's another reason why this haul is so big. We had a lot of back stock to get through. Um, this is an extra large express plunge neck new with tags bodysuit. I would never buy a bodysuit unless it was new with tags and it still had the crotch wrap in it. <laughs> so this retails for, do not remove this tag, please keep this tag for any returns. What's the price? $44.90. So yeah, that should go pretty good. Alright, this, I just got it because it was floral. I, I just do that. 
and Taylor Factory Petite, so a large petite. But you know, the petite ladies, they need love too. So I don't discriminate, like I said. If it's cute and it's a petite, I will still get it. Especially when the cost is low. I get a lot of petite, really nice things at the Dollar Thrift. All right, this was purely style-based, indigo sole, size extra large. I got this because it was really cute with the bell sleeves. Very, It's the crinkly fabric, uh, kind of slinky, um, but that uh, velvet burnout print kind of sealed the deal. So we got that. All right, this is a brand I've never heard of, Violet Romance. Doesn't go for a lot on eBay, but I just thought it was really cute. So it has some ruffledy sleeves. Um, I think it would probably come just below the knee on somebody that was size 10. But yeah, cute little dress. This is really pretty, and I'm testing this brand. This is Suzanne Betro, size 1X. I see a lot of this around in my area, so I got this to try. I don't think I'll have any problem selling this peasant um, style shirt with all of the details, the lace, the embroidery, the ruffles. It is long sleeve, but it has some crochet at the sleeves as well. So I don't think I'll have any problem selling this. This is a 1X, and then um, it may just be a brand where I get some more of the, the, the style, the boho kind of style. This I got because, I don't know, it's Land's Inn, um, definitely because it was plus size. It's a 20W, but it reminded me of... What's that brand with the whale? Yeah, it kind of a beach brand. But it's really lightweight, so I thought this would do okay. I'm watching the time. Um, it does not say what the... Like, it's super light and super soft, so... I'm not sure what... The fabric content is I'm willing to bet that it's okay 100% cotton that's why so yeah nice little tunic top pair that with a pair of short white shorts or uh, a pair of white uh, crop pants good to go all right I will be right back with the rest of the video all right next we have a jumpsuit pantsuit romper this is Lou and Gray, size medium. I don't have a lot of luck with Lou and Gray, but again, it's the slinky, stretchy um, kind of material. So it's really hard to show a jumpsuit. Um, it has the, it's a wrap front and it has the neat little, the little button. So all your bits don't come out, hopefully. So yeah. It has pockets. Like, this would be super comfortable. I wish you guys could feel some of this stuff. So, the fabric on this is... It even still has the, the little thingy inside it that you're supposed to take out before you wash it. It's 93% Cupro and 7% spandex. I have no idea what Cupro is. That's probably the first time I've ever seen that, to be honest. Um, so hopefully that will do okay, even though it's Lou and Gray. I don't, like I said, I don't have a lot of luck moving the Lou and Gray. This I thought was really cute, and I should have thrifted this a while back to get it up for the holiday. But it is Lucky Brand, 100% cotton, size large, off the shoulder. I don't even know what's going on here with these sleeves, but I thought it was really cool. So, white with little silver embroidered stars. And this is the newer Lucky Brand tag, in case you haven't seen it. Really good condition. I actually took the dry cleaning tag off of here 
before the haul, so it was taken care of. Yep. So, there's that. Now this one... Oh, this is Old Navy. Um, cheap enough, I'll buy Old Navy. Another off the shoulder, probably. Um, little cropped piece, florals, boho, size 2X, XXL. Um, again, if the price is cheap enough, I'll get the tops, but I like to stick to maxi dresses and um, Old Navy. Or plus sizes. Um, so this does not have a size tag, but again, another brand I don't have a problem selling in plus size is Calvin Klein, especially their work wear. So <clears throat> this is what seems like a minimalist kind of tank top, but this black piping or trim is faux leather. And then it has a little Calvin Klein emblem or logo there in the middle. So I wish this had a size. Uh, it doesn't. It is lined. So I'll just have to measure it. And it's just polyester. But again, I thought it was cute. So it looks like a 1X to a 2X to me. We'll figure it out and have it up in the store. Alright, this is another Chico's piece. This is older tag. This is a size 1. And I definitely got this because it's a it's a turtleneck, but it's so lightweight. Um, so I know I checked the fabric in the store, but I don't remember it. So, Alright. Pima Cotton. That's why I got this. So Pima Cotton is super, super soft. Again, you could layer this easily. If you work in an office. Yeah. So, got that. Alright, this brand is ChickSoul.com. And this is one of those brands that you kind of see on your Instagram. Uh, if you're plus size, like me. So, if you um, notice when you're looking for something either on Google or or. It, it comes across in your feed as an ad, and it's called Chick Soul Boutique, but they have um, uh, a little following. Every time I get this brand in plus size, it sells. I don't see it very often, but when I do, I grab it. So this is a 3XL. Their little tag looks like this. And this is just a waffle knit pullover. So I figured I couldn't go wrong with that. Long sleeve, but very lightweight. Um, and this is just rayon, polyester, and spandex. But super cute. Again, um, athleisure kind of feel to it. So I don't think we'll have any problem um, selling that. Here's another LuLaRoe. Um, this is... Long sleeve size 3XL, but their 3XL to me looks like a 1X. This is Minnie Mouse, so kind of like a baseball jersey, three quarter sleeve, a longer three quarter sleeve, and Minnie Mouse. All right, this I thought was really pretty. It is another dress. And it is the brand Ava and Viv, which I think is just Kohl's or Target or JCPenney maybe. It's not super high end, but I just thought this was the prettiest dress. It has a keyhole neck in the back. It's going to be hard because it's got a lining, so it's kind of heavy. But isn't that cute? The print is just so cute. The colors are very fall. So yeah, lots of ruffles, long sleeve, but it's, the lining is what makes it um, so heavy. But yeah, so we got that. Some more Chico's. This is definitely 
I, w I don't know if you would say vintage Chico's. Like, is there a thing? Vintage Chico's. But that's the older tag. And this is a size 3. So, again, a large. But the reason I got this is because it's 100% silk. And it's an open jacket. So, it does have a little lapel there. No shoulder pads. So, there's that. But, yeah. Just this teal kind of very boho embroidered silk jacket so yeah definitely worth it all right another chico's piece this is also an older looking tag to me but this is travelers and it is just a black slinky tank top in a size two so a medium and when I'm listing Chico's, I have a screenshot shape, screenshot saved of their size chart. So, um, God forbid somebody doesn't, if you, if you wear Chico's, you know what size you wear. If not, I put the size chart in there so you can compare, but a size two is going to be a medium. Last two items and then we will be done. Duluth Trading Co., Women's size 2X, retail price $39.50. This is a women's printmaker lightweight popover shirt. But I got it because it has a camper print. Look how cute that is. So, yeah, me with tags. Larger size, couldn't pass it up, so it was a good deal. And I think somebody will really enjoy that shirt. Last thing. Last thing. Alright, so this is nothing special. This is the brand Bella Canvas, which they do a lot of graphic print t-shirts. I think this t-shirt that I'm wearing um, that my best friend gave me, I think this is canvas also. And I just love the feeling of them. They are very comfortable. Um, this is a size 2X. And I just liked the print on it. So we're going to pass this along. We're going to make sure this goes to a good home. It just says happy. Kind of has some intentional distressing on it. And yeah. So that is it. That was it for this huge haul. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope you kind of get an idea of what we sell here in our store. Um, which will be linked down in the description below. Um, or you can just search Pine Holler Limited, Pine Holler, one word, followed by LTD, all one word, all lowercase. Um, and that's where we are at on eBay, here on YouTube, as well as Instagram. So I hope everybody enjoyed this long haul and give me some feedback down below. I do take um, constructive criticism. I don't get offended easily, but don't be mean. I will give you the boot for being mean. So yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed and I will see you all on the next video.